Yeah, I brought you by DigiKey this week. It is Max Linear. Lady Ada, what is the new product introduction of the week? This a week. I'm glad you asked. This week we're doing Max Linear and their MXL 8321X series of chips. There's the one, the two, and the four. I'll talk about that. These are uh, transceivers for RS45 or 422. Same things. One's kind of possible to make bidirectional and one isn't. Um, they're uh, nicely high-performance transceivers. I like that they come in four variations from um, 250 kilobits up to 50 megabits per second, so very high speed. They work with three or five volts. They have extended temperature. Um, they're hot plug safe. They have like fail-safe protections. Uh, they're meant for rugged implementations of RS-45 or um, RS-422. If you're wondering, like, what is that used for? You don't have to use them for DMX, but a um, a common use for 40, common use for RS forty five is to be the lower physical layer for RS forty five, which is a uh, control system for um, special effects and um, AV equipment. Uh, it's a really old protocol. Um, it's been around for a long time. You don't again. You don't have to use it for that, but that's kind of the most popular. And in case you're wondering, I looked it up, and um, no, DMX is not named after the protocol. It's actually, it's a totally different name. I, for for the longest time, that's what I thought. I know. Well, I was listening to DMX while I did this to kind of inspire me. Okay. Okay, so we have in the store... But actually, my favorite rapper, USB, is still the person who invented the USB, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, we have in the store, we actually talked about this a couple weeks ago, one of these um, USB to serial slash uh, RS-42... 45 slash 422 and I was kind of interested like what you know what was this used for and you know I've never used it I've used RS-232 and I've used uh, UART serial but what's the connection between them um, well UART serial you, you know people are familiar with is FTDI or uh, um, CP2104 it's this USB to three or five volt serial bidirectional data with sometimes control lines like DTR and CTS and um, RS-232, you um, might be familiar with because it's used for older devices, like some older chip, uh, older GPS units, um, some old printers, old mice, um, some old CNC machines. They would use RS-232. I think, you know, I think Liz did a project where you can still control like a um, AV system switcher that used RS-232. And it was basically UART, the same serial UART data, but instead of being zero to three volts, it was like negative 10 to positive 10 volts. It just has a really big swing. It's literally like the same data. It's just inverted and like much wider voltage range. And so it's a bit of a hack to let it go much further. The problem is it's still a single-ended uh, protocol, whereas if you want to go very long distance and have um, protection against um, like electromagnetic interference or, um, you know, bad ground or like, you know, whatever, uh, very long distance or uh, data cross coupling, you want something differential. So, you know, yes, there's there's more modern protocols like, uh, you know, CANBUS or even Ethernet. But at the time, I think they were like, well, let's just take, you know, RS-232 or UART and instead of having it be single-ended, it was really double-ended. And that's what you get. So each one of these max linear chips is a single transmitter or receiver. You can use them for both, but in general, um, RS-422 at least is single directional. You have two pin outputs, A and B, and they are differential outputs. And DI is the, pin four is the data input. DE is the uh, data enable. RE is the receiver enable. So basically you decide you wanna be a receiver or a transmitter. And like I said, for 422, you would hard code it one or the, one or the other. Um, RO is the um, receiver output. So you would um, tie RE and DE together and either pull it both high or both low, and you would be either, either a receiver or a transmitter. You can't do both in, at the same exact time because the differential line is, um, is a half duplex. Um, but what you can do, and this is uh, just showing like the schematic, if you want is um, you can connect it to a line and have it, it, as long as your protocol is like aware of the ability to change direction, you can ask a device on the chain, like, hey, please 
turn around instead of being a receiver, become a transmitter. The transmitter uh, switches the polarity of the, um, sorry, the direction of the uh, half duplex connection and it becomes a receiver. And so you can receive data and that's RS-485. So RS-422 is like unidirectional. RS-485, you can switch direction, but you still only can have one device transmitting at a time. And you're gonna have multiple devices. One of the things that's great for being used in um, lighting is a lot of time when you have lights, you know, they're, they can be multiple meters away. You can have hundreds of meters of wiring. Um, and if you go to the overhead real fast, I'll show you, I just picked up a light because I was actually curious about this. This is just a kind of a low cost mm. uh, PAR light. And even though there is an input and output, um, they're not labeled, they kind of, yeah, so it's like DMX out, DMX in. They're actually wired together. There's, they're only, like, you don't use a T because they just want to make it so you have, like, one cable per connection. But these are actually electrically connected. And you can have up to 32 devices per chain in 512 addresses. The only reason they max out at 32 is the capacity of the line for each device starts to become kind of intense. If you need more than 32 devices, they want you to put, like, a repeater um, to, to have a you know better capacitive drive. And then if you can go back to that slide. This one? Another thing, if you look at the bottom, you see that uh, 60 ohm and then 375, 375. So that's the terminator. Um, so you actually, sorry, not the 60 ohm, but usually you have like a couple of resistors uh, and then a ground as well. That's the three pin connector. You need a terminator at the end. You know, old um, transmission lines, especially differential ones, they require transmitters because, you know, they didn't, sorry, terminators because they didn't kind of have auto termination figured out. Um, it's not a big deal, but if you have very long lines, you'll want to either buy a DMX um, terminator or uh, build one yourself just by connecting some, like you can see 120 ohm or 60 ohm resistors on the end. Check the spec. Um, there's a couple of variants of this family. Um, the, the one of the things that like is the hot so obviously hot swap ability because people are gonna just plug lights in out like while the whole thing is live um so having it be protected against uh, crashing if you like to connect or disconnect the light is definitely a good idea another thing i like is that they have um the the eight three two one one two one two and two one four have different slew rates and transmission rates so if you're really just using it for dmx get the eight three two one one because that's tapped out maxes out at 250 kilobits per second, but it means that you don't have to worry about, um, like you should definitely terminate, but if you don't, you'll have minimal reflection, like you'll probably be able to get away with it. Um, whereas the 212 has 500 kilobits per second, which is faster than sound DMX. And then if you're like, want to use this as the 45 or 4022 protocol, but you're not talking in the standard 250 kilobit per second DMX, you can go up to 50 megabit per second but you definitely termination at that. Like that's really, really fast. So um, pick and choose whichever one you want. They're all pin compatible. All of them have the same like um, packages, uh, power, what, you know, capabilities, hot swap, whatever, temperature. Um, they just have different slew drivers. So, uh, you know, pick the driver strength you want. And the good news is all of them are in stock. Available at the DigiKey. Yeah. As DMX says, he's, He's got what you want. Yeah, I thought I would leave everyone with a, a DMX quote from the album. And then there was X. We each have a star. All we have to do is find it. Once you do, everyone who sees it will be blinded. That's how I feel about the Max Linear MXL series of RS-45-422 transceivers. That's on MPI. I on MPI.